getting my shit together. Date of entry, January 28th, 2023. Dear journal, today I seem to have got out of bed on a mission that my conscious mind had no clue about. (laughs) Today, I spent more than half the day getting my shit together. When my sister gifted me money, Thursday, I was quite proud of myself for returning home and not spending it all. Because that has been one of the many challenges I've been experiencing with money. As soon as it reached it done, and usually on foolishness or things that are way out of my current budget. More money also arrived in my bank account on Friday in the form of tax returns. And I wasn't even expecting it so early. So today I sat down in front of my computer, opened my monthly budget and network calculator and got to work on the numbers. I also pulled up my very own blog entry about the book, The Richest Man in Babylon, to aid me in managing this money well. Finally, truly putting into practice my learnings from this book. It felt so good to truly just take a moment, be honest with myself about my finances, and move forward from that place of clarity. Today, I also started to continue work on my journal series for book three, Conscious Self-Discovery. There are over 100 pages of journal entries that I was planning to voice record. However, About 10 recordings in, I suddenly started laughing to myself loudly, stopped in the middle of a recording and said, I don't want to do this. Why am I really doing this? The answer was clear. I was quote unquote trying to clear my head and publishing these entries in the form of a book was my way of doing so. But it was just too much. And... As I recall the title of my previous book in the series, Letting Go of the Past, I felt within myself, Love, this is so unnecessary. You have nothing to prove by continuing to go through these entries, putting yourself through so much more mental turmoil than is necessary. Just delete it all and write new stories. And it was with that feeling that I deleted everything every single scanned page, every recording, every video, and every photo from my laptop and phone for the years up to 2022. After I did it, do you know what I felt? Immediate ease in my mental space. And it felt as though this huge burden had been removed from my back. Whew. (laughs) What a fucking relief. Oh, earlier today, I also had some profound clarity as it relates to feelings and emotions surrounding a vegan's utopia. This clarity arrived beautifully aligned with my signing over the company to the Fox earlier this week. I seem to have somehow developed a subconscious fear of starting another business from the trauma and negative emotions around what happened with a vegan's utopia. That business started out great, but then came COVID and everything just started spiraling out of control. I tied myself to the worth and success of that business, but now I realize that it is so unnecessary for me to do that. And all that fear has been doing is keeping me from moving forward with all the great ideas I now have. It is time to let that go. I am so grateful for all the experience, lessons, and insight that that experience brought to my life journey. Today was the day to work on my third eye chakra. And even though I really didn't feel like it, I put on my indigo lingerie set, spread out a blanket since my mat was wet, and did a short, sweet practice. It was well worth it. (laughs) 
I am just so very grateful that I feel such a relief of freeing myself from all those past memories today. Signing out, L for love.